Okay. Sure. All right, my name is Liam Hughes. I grew up in Helena, Montana. I moved over to the west side. Well, the west side for me is west of the Continental Divide. Moved over here in 2001 to be with my sweetheart. I got married in 2004 and we moved over here to the west side of the Cascades in 06. Um, and that's really where my soccer journey began. Um, didn't play when I was a kid. Didn't dislike it just wasn't involved, wasn't on my radar, even though my best friend played forever. Just wasn't my thing. Easy to happen in a place like Montana, but over here a little bit harder. My father-in-law, Paul, is an interesting fellow. Paul is a really athletic guy, uh, a runner, uh, a skier. He's a really active guy, active like I'm not sitting still active. I've got to do something all the time. And I thought, I've got to get him to a Sounders match. I've got to do this sometime. This is just the greatest thing for him. He loves being around people. He doesn't know any strangers. He'll chat up anybody and everybody. This is going to be great. Had a hard time finding a match that was going to work for him. Lives in Spokane, doesn't come over here all that often. Finally got a seat in ECS for him for a late season match against Real Salt Lake last season, not last season, 2014 first Sounders experience standing in GA. Guys never so much as watched soccer on TV before. He's relying on me to guide him and I'm kind of wondering if I've made a good choice here. So we're driving up from Graham and I'm telling him, all right, you're not going to sit. You're going to stand. You might not even be able to see much of what's going on. That's beside the point. Your job, and this is a job, your job is to support. What's that mean exactly? Well, do you have anything important you need to do tomorrow? Because your voice is going to be shot. Your shins are probably going to get bruised. This is going to be a rough 24 hours for you if you're not prepared to give everything. And I'm telling him all this and I'm thinking, who am I giving the pep talk to here? I haven't spent much time in GA myself. I got to get it ready for this. I got to get myself ready for this. Long story short, we end up scoring one of the, what was then the latest regular season goal in Sounders history, Andy Rose in, I think, the 93rd minute, right in front of us, right in front of GA. And it had been a pretty stressful match to that point. Playoff implications, um, as things had been kind of seesaw toward the end of the season, as it almost always is. Rose scored that winner, and we lost our minds completely. And in the chaos and confusion, the hugs and high fives, beer flying through the air, I can hardly speak, my voice is shot. I look and 10, 12 feet in front of me is my father-in-law and he's being bear hugged by Kyle Shields. Kyle who hasn't seen any of the match because it's all happening behind him. Kyle has lifted him off of the ground as though he were a rag doll. The look on my father-in-law's face, I've seen but one other time. I've known the guy for, we're pushing 20 years now. I've seen one other time and it was at our wedding when I married his daughter. The jo it was joy, it was childlike. I must have had the same look on my face because he saw me and I saw him and we just laughed. We just laughed. At that moment I knew he had finally experienced that thing that I had. That thing that I had found. I couldn't give it to him. He had to have it. He had to have it hit him. Like a water balloon. One second there's nothing and the next you're drenched in it. and. I owe the Sounders a great deal for that, but more than that, I owe the supporters. He joined a family that I'd somehow been a part of, and best of all outcomes. Season ended in tatters. Playoffs were a disaster. We didn't win anything. It didn't matter. What mattered was that moment, and that moment that still animates him. He still gets excited, and when he's over, it's, are the Sounders in town? I'd love to go. I'd love to go. It's, it's really cool to see that awakening in somebody who never cared before. I said this to somebody at the end of the Dallas match in the playoffs last year. The crest is the thing that belongs to all of us. We, we put our own names on our shirts. We put Ozzy's name on our shirts. Some of us have put Torres on our shirts and those are the people I look up to the most. Um, the crest is, it's our, it's our tribal identity. 
when we spot each other on the street, this is how we know we're in the club. You're, hey, hey, I have no idea who you are. You're my people. Yeah. This, this is, this symbol, this is our little bat signal that says, I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. We might not agree on anything. You might be Siggy out for all I know. It doesn't matter. The name on the back of the shirt will change. The name on the back of the shirt will go to China. China! The name on the front endures. The crest is the glue. We're all these pieces stuck together and the glue, this binds us. This, this is the thing. This is why it goes over our hearts. This is the heart.